Hey, this is Media Man here. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I got a treat for you guys today. The Fairfield Falcons have invited me out to come in and do a check-in video with them. So I'm going to come in and check out all the coaches. We're going to meet up with some of the coaches, see some of their views with the kids. You know, this is going to be a positive, uh, productive video about community and the love that we have for community that we show forth through football. So you guys stay tuned. Disclaimer. The microphone on this video was not that great. The wind was really bad. So please, um, I bought some new mic covers and they're on order. They'll be here Friday. You guys won't have to put up with this any longer. But for this video, unfortunately, there's some wind in the background. Put up with it and I apologize. But here's the Fairfield Falcons checking in. We'll be back with them in a few days to do the video when they get their pads. So, all right, guys, check it out. What's up? I'm with the president. So, man, how's it been going? Doing all right, doing all right, doing all right. Pretty good. So, you're stepping up the ranks and responsibility. Hey, yeah, real talk. Um, how, how's the experience been for you? It's been cool. It's been it's just a little different than the culture. Yeah. Hey, and um, Fairfield Falcons ain't no new organization. That's, that's, they've been there. Yeah. Yeah. For all of us. The emphasis this year to get the kids where they need to be. What's the game plan, man? Man, hard work, man. You know, hard work gets it done. That's all you do. Put the game plan together, give them a scheme, go to work, get conditioned, make sure they're ready for prepare for whatever they got to face. That's it, hard work, man. Hard work to get it done. That's what we've been doing. This ain't no really good. Work. Big secret to it, hard work, and then, you know, get a kids to get a kids to the game plan, something to work with. Okay, and um, I always like to remind all the parents, or all the parents and the kids and everybody that. Man, you know what? It's a beautiful thing to see all these people out here. I mean, how many people would you estimate out here? Ah, right now I'm gonna say second day of practice. You know, we still got kids coming up. About about 140 kids. Man, Ch that plus cheerleaders, maybe about 180, to 1200. That's, that's good. That's a good. 140 turnout. kids plus parents. Man, that's that's a lot of people to make connections with, dog. Yeah, and that's yeah. what this is all about. This is about yes, meeting your neighbor, making friends. Um, you know, like Will B said in my vanity video, I don't know if you've seen it, uh, it only takes that one coach to make that dramatical impact on a player and, and you'll make a stain in that person's life forever. You know what I mean? Like, you make that kind of impact on people, you know what I mean? So, hey, what you guys are doing, man, everybody can't do it. Um, it comes from a lot of experience. I know uh, a lot of people have tried, you know what I mean? And I like to see, um, the, the, you know, just the enthusiasm that you show, promote your league and things like that because it is a full-time job, you know what I mean? So, so give it up to you, dog. Um, so other than uh, the kids' hard work, what do you expect of them uh, in the classroom, man? Because when school starts, it's going to get infected. Books for football. Okay. Football in the classroom definitely comes first and foremost. So, you know, they'll get their prior reports sent out weekly. Go from there. Okay, and uh, and you know how I always advocate, man, is you know, what we do out here is, is so lovely with the kids, and, and, and you know, there's, there's some kids that, that, that may only sit back and, and play video games, and you know what I mean, like, like if a kid called you up, would you go in and, and hook him up and, 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 and find a way for him to come out and be a Falcon? Yeah, okay, so, so you heard that, guys. Yeah, if, if you're sitting on the couch right now and you want to come out and play some football, hit your boy up. Brandon Jackson, he's the president now, he can make some things happen. Hey, I got to give it up to you though for, uh, you know, all the time and effort that you're uh, giving these kids. Is there any kind of messages that you want to send out to your parents, to the parents or the community? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So man, I want to thank you for having me out. Uh, you know how we do it, man. Uh, anytime you guys need me to come out, I'm, I'm gonna come out. Uh, I got a hectic schedule. I'm always doing other things, uh, busy wise. But uh, anytime that I can come out, I'm definitely gonna come out. And I think I'm gonna hit you up for a few games. Yes, sir. I appreciate so, you. So let me know what the schedule is. You know how we do it. Uh, hey, yeah, yeah. We need that back a little shot. All right. All right. All right. There's a lot of support out here with the Fairfield Falcons. Has it always been like this? Ah, uh, we, we come from the ground. Uh, actually, the Fairfield Falcons is uh, one of the longest uh, running youth organizations here in Fairfield. Uh, I believe we're going on 47 years. Uh, we, you know, we come from the ground work, we're hard-collared, working-class people that just 
get out here and work, man. Yeah, real talk, but so what what I've seen lately is that it's all about the support, you know. And for a we're while, just gonna be honest, uh, the Warriors were in town and the Warriors had a lot of support, so they were kind of stretching the organization thin, and I think now that you know, the Warriors are gone. It's, it's allowed everybody to come back and be a Hey, part. man, one, one thing about that, though, is when everybody comes back centralized, man, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, unfortunately, the Warriors did uh, fold. Uh, it just shows again that the Fair for Fathers was able to prevent, uh, prevail throughout. Um, but definitely, everybody coming together. It's not even about anything else but the kids. The kids finally get to play with each other, finally get, you know, centralized and start dominating like they should instead of everybody trying to get to certain teams, certain agendas, man, get these kids together and let them fall out. Yep. Hey, it, it is all about the support. We don't want to say nothing bad about the no, Warriors. Absolutely. Man, I love the Warriors and, and, and Brandon and everybody knows that I love the Warriors. That's why I'm over here because really the Warriors gain my respect. Uh, it's not just about um, football. It's just about the coach in the general. I like the coaching style that you guys uh, provide for the kids. Got to give you big ups. So tell me, uh, the kid-wise, what are you expecting out of these kids this year and, and what is it going to take to be a Fairfield Falcon? I mean, for uh, my team in, in particular, we're actually coming off the national championship you know, first team in Northern California to do it. So we got a chip on our shoulder, man. We're not, we're not satisfied with what we did last year. We got to tell these kids to come out here and work and, and start again. That was, that was in the past. It's time to come out here and work and do it again. All right. Well, now, technically, now, how are you going to physically get those kids ready? Physically, and mentally, how you do it? Uh, we got to start from the bottom, man. Uh, fundamentals. Get, a, get that mindset in them. Get that work ethic back in them. They've been a, a summer all, all summer long playing these uh, video games. Um, just get get the grind back on them, get the love in them, and then get them coached up and ready to ball. Hey, coach, I see the enthusiasm and I love it. So, other than that, there's a there's a lot of stuff uh, going in, on in the community, like always. What do you got to say to those kids that might be missing this action? They're sitting on the couch and they're looking at YouTube videos. Can they still come out and be a part of this? You can come out and be a part of this, man. Look, listen, if you're at home, man, come be a part of something great. You know, there's games out there. There's, there's people that's doing nothing with themselves. That might seem cool, but come out here and be a part of something great. There's a brotherhood out here. And there's real people and coaches out here that will mentor you and, and show you the right way, man. The right way is always the hardest, but it's the most rewarding way. Come out here and be a part of the family, man. Come out here and be a part of the family, man. Yep, and that's exactly what we're going to touch on. This is the last thing I'm going to say. You know, I've been doing this for a long time. Just like you said, you've been doing this for eight years. We know, and we're going to give a friendly reminder to the other coaches. I don't think I need to tell you because you're very passionate about what you're doing out here. But remember, guys, it's about connecting with these kids. Do you not agree? I, I agree with you a thousand percent. None of us get, get paid out here, man. My success in, in life is seeing these kids smile on their face, man. It's nothing better than coaching up a kid and seeing that glow in their eyes when they succeed, man. Real talk. So, hey. so, you know, you got to keep it going, man. Real talk. That's so, how we uh, do it. Hey, this is Fairfield Falcons love right here, baby. Come on down and get a part of this. You know, be a part of something it. great, man. Come join the family. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Sounds good. All right. Check out all these kids out here. How do you guys feel about seeing the support from the Fairfield Falcons? How many kids show out here when you play some football? Oh, they feel good. Exactly. That's, that's what it's all about. And more than anything, more than the sports, more than anything, it's, it's really about building relationships yeah. with each other. Real talk. So, um, introduce you guys. Introduce yourselves for the uh, Fairfield Falcons family. I'm Sabrina. Uh, my son plays for the 11U team. Marlo. Number 17. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. I'm Shonda. My son plays for the 11U Money that plays for the okay. Yeah, how, how many years you guys been with the Falcons? Three. This is this is our second year. 
Second year? Okay, so how did you guys hear about the Falcons? Of course, I know we're in Fairfield, so it's, you know, it's probably not too hard to hear about it. Yeah, it's part of the culture. I think it is. Yep. So, uh, you guys, uh, kids, go to local schools around here, or and, and how are their grades and stuff? Doing, doing good. 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 You they guys have to keep their home. grades up, right? Okay. Exactly. Okay, how, how, how do you guys get the schoolwork in? I know now we're in summertime, so it's not really a factor right now. But once the school starts, how will you be able to get that schoolwork in and and be on the kids to to practice hard? Because there's a lot that that, that that you ask of the kids in this situation to practice hard, get schoolwork done. I mean, it's a lot on their plate. But they rush to do it because they want to be a part of this foundation. Exactly. And then, it's unacceptable. Uh, it's it's, it's about the... And you got to put the emphasis on the education part with the, the physical part because it goes hand in hand. Exactly. So so they're learning to be better students, kids. This is a lovely environment. And parents, I got to thank you for being a part of my video. All right. All right. Real talk. So I'm back in Real Sean. This, this is how we do it. This is a community event. And, and I want to thank these parents for being a part of this video. Thank you guys. Introduce yourself for the Fairfield Falcons family. Okay, so you have a you have a kid that's on our uh, spot over here. I have like a few nephews, yeah, and they're all my kids. <laughs> okay, so um, they're in the eleven year. Okay, so tell me, how how did you hear about this awesome program, and uh, what fueled what, what fueled you to bring the kids out? Um, the Falcons been around for like forever, and my nephew actually they started with the Falcons years ago. So I just feel like it's a structure family wise. I mean good community, they participate in a lot of community activities, uh, like I said, structure, they have a lot of structure on here, and everything is family based, so if one move, they all move, all the way. That's good, and you know what, I gotta give it up to all the, the coaches, which I'm gonna go and meet all these coaches next, what do you gotta say about Brandon Jackson, he's been doing it for a long time for the youth, and now he's the president of you guys' organization, that's a big, that's a big thing right there. I feel like he came from the bottom to the top. I mean, but it don't, he's not the type that, like, it's all him. He did it all. You really got to give it up to his kids that, and the parents that stuck with him from day one. The ones that then put in hours with work, got their kids to go here, there, there, if they couldn't get there. So it's, you know. It's a community effort. Community and, you know, put it together and bring in the Falcons family. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Real talk. Hey, because we, we, we don't see it. Yeah. The, fa the Falcons mean. fell off for a minute. I, I oh. bet you. Got, and y'all back now, though. Came back yeah, y'all back. back and got one national championship. Yep. Yep. So, hey, congratulations. And I'm not talking about the youth organization. I'm talking about the Fairfield Falcons in general is doing bad. So he is bringing it back, and it's just a trickling effect. Watch what's going to happen to the high school. Watch. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. So. All hey. take is one. Exactly. All right, well, I, I appreciate you guys, and thank you once again for being a part of my video. Thank you. All right, guys. interview how, how did that feel young man feel good hard and good, hard and good. That, that's what it's all about them little legs gonna be burning tomorrow huh i like to see you working hard like that Hey, I'm Coach Dre with the uh, Six U Fairfield Falcon team. Okay, yeah. so what, what what you got over here going on with the uh, with all these drills and the cones and stuff? Oh man, we got the ladder drill and the hurdle drill, and they getting their footwork right and their knees up. You know, basic stuff they need to learn playing the game. Okay, what what are you gonna ask of these kids? You know, physically and mentally in order to you know get that championship this year. How, how are you gonna oh. get that? Oh uh, man, just come out here and give it your all, man, and, and, and push your brothers to, to fight hard 
and the, the whole nine. You know what I mean? Give it your all, work hard. Hey, hey, uh, and, and, and real talk, he just hit on the point that I've been, I was meaning to bring that up earlier in this video, but you know, I'm glad he reminded me, and that's true, man. Give it your all. You gotta give it your all mm -hmm. with everything you do. Kids that's watching this video, remember that. Give it your all and, and, and respect your coaches when they ask of you, because uh, you'll have no regrets if you just give it your all. Yeah, all yeah, right. that's right. Right on, coach. Hey, thanks for giving up your time, because oh. you know, uh, without you uh, being a volunteer out here, man, none of, none of this would be possible. Oh, it's all good, man. I love, I love it out here. All right, good yeah. luck this year, coach. Hopefully, you get that uh, championship. Appreciate it. Yeah. So I saw you over here doing the alligator drill with the kids, giving them the knowledge. Explain what you're doing over there with the kids. Basically, right now we're just doing uh, for the guys. It's gonna hand it off by the quarterback. So usually related to an alligator, you know, alligator mouth open, alligator mouth closed. So that's the easiest way to explain it to a six-year-old. Hey, you, you love being out here spending time with these kids? Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't have kids of my own, you know, so I love being out here with kids, you know, trying to basically just send a positive vibe. You feel me? We got so much violence going on. You know, it's good just to be out here with these kids, you know, they just wanna have fun, so. Hey, yeah. it's just, it's, a, it's a probably just a, a really contagious energy that you get from the kids that just fun to be around, isn't that true? Right, yeah. Uh, well, introduce yourselves for the Fairfield Falcon family. I'm um, Wayne Cheesman, out of Little California. It's out here right now, six years, Fairfield Falcons. Hey, well, good luck this year, Coach, and thanks for giving up your time for these kids. You're welcome. All right. I'm good. I, yeah, how are you? I, yeah, I still do. I still do that too. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Everybody, get in. Hey, y'all, bring it in. Hey, hey. Let's go, homie. Let's go. We do it together, man. All right, it's all good. It's all about togetherness with us, man. Yep. Hey, y'all. You don't have the mic on you. This is back to the shot, man. Hey, this is how they do it over here at the Fairfield Falcons. The kids come and say, what's up? We're going to do a vlog for y'all, you know, get it together. Let's go. I see you, son. I see you. Natural. Yeah. Natural. Hey. hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Showing them guns, y'all. Showing them guns. That's the 60 guns, That's man. That's how I get in. See the camera right there, right? Don't look at me. Look at the camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, first of all, uh, I gotta say, what's up, Joshua, man? I, 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 I gotta give it up to all the people out there in the community that give me support. Check my YouTube channel. He hired me way back in the day to do yes, some work yes. out of town uh, just because he's one of those kind of guys. So I just gotta give it up to guys like that. And now he's the head coach of this team out here with all the support, with all these parents, or all these coaches out here. Um, tell me, man, it's a lovely thing. How's your team doing? Back next year, we're gonna go back to the championship. This year, we got some uh, unfinished business. Is that what you say, right, fellas? Yeah. We got it. We're going back to work, Sean. Okay, so uh, what is it gonna take to get that business done? Oh, a lot of work, man. Well, I mean, so what you got any specialized plan to just make them? Uh, is it all about conditioning? Oh, man, we're gonna condition, we're gonna build them down, bring them up. You know, it's, a, it's their first year, so we're gonna make sure they have fun first. Okay. Teach them a lot of skill technique, you know. Got yeah. like about 10 returners, so we, we should be straight, man. We're gonna make sure they have fun first. And, and that's it. That's exactly right. He hit it on the head. Uh, we definitely go make sure everybody has fun first and make these connections with everybody on the field. Um, Quiet just, down. Hey, 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 my, hey, Will B said it on my last video. Uh, it only takes one coach to make that connection with a kid, man. And, and you stay in them, man. You make that connection for life, man. So uh, remember that. Reach out to these kids. Make these connections with these kids because that's what it's all about. For right? sure, man. Shout out to Will B and, and, and what they do in Advantage, too, man. You know, that's where it all started at, Exactly. Right? And we're all family, we all love each other, so y'all go out and support us on uh, Bandon sure. Friday nights with Definitely. the football. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be off the hook. So, uh, but yeah, uh, real talk, you want to say anything to the parents? I want to say, man, I, my parents are special. Six-year-old parents, it's a whole different ball game. I couldn't do it without them, man. It's just like, I can't even call myself a full coach because they got to come out here and do everything I'm doing. Everything I'm doing, they got to do it with me. So I, I really appreciate my parents, for real. Okay, so... What can you ask of the community for support? Uh, Is there anything out there? Y'all good? We good, man. Just keep blogging. Let's put this out there, man. You know. Okay. We're going to go to work. But I, any support, any help, man, we appreciate it. I like what y'all doing with the Fairfield Falcons. That's why I'm out here. I'm giving y'all the support. And anytime y'all need me, just hit me up. Sure. I'm here for you guys. Off top. All right, guys. Appreciate you. All right. Let's go. Break this up. Falcons on three. One, two. Oh, uh, 
um, I'm seeing a lot of my friendly faces out here. Yeah, man. Fairfield Falcons. What's going on? I mean, you know, as the kids get older, you gotta make the right moves for the kids, and uh, they had a good organization over here, so we just coming together, you know, just trying to do something good for the kids. Man, I'm gonna miss your son, though, man. Your son out there showboating, putting on a show for us, back to Bengals. Yeah. You know, what's going on? We losing all of our characters. <laughs> nah, it ain't nothing like that. It's all love. You know, Mike Bonnell, that's family over there, man. Yeah. Go Twan, he gonna continue to do what he do. Yeah. But, and like I said, you gotta do what's best for the kids. You know, it's two kids, Malachi and Antoine, so it so, is what it is. So how, how, how are you liking the experience so far over here with the Falcons? It's pretty good. It's going good. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, it's different. It's different, but you know, we up for the challenge and uh, just ready to see what this, this competitive league is looking like. It's different, but it's somewhat the same. I see one of my fellow athletes, Beasting, is on your team. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited Beasting's over here, man. I've been knowing that kid, man, for about six years, going on six years now. So, so do you follow kid. you or what? Or no, you know what, Coach Johnson, Coach Johnson is a big reason why we're all over here. Okay, Honestly, okay. yeah, Ty, Ty, man, he's a hell of a coach. Okay. Yeah, so. Uh, and it's all about the support you put into the kids, and, um, sure. and, and you guys are, are re reaping the rewards, you know what I mean? The kids like you guys. Yeah, I mean, that's sure. what it is, you know what I mean? We, we're happy to be out here coaching them up and all that. Just doing what we got to do, man. It's God's plan. <laughs> yeah, and to see all the support out here with the Falcons. But it's lovely. Um, so what are you going to be asking of your team to get into the championship level this year? Man, hard work, dedication, man. Day by day, every day just bring the work, just grind. And then, and then this season, when it's time for the championship, all our hard work will pay off. If everybody can buy into that, then, shh, man, we'll have a good season. Strongly believe that. Okay, so I've, I've been hitting this a lot with the uh, kids. Um, we're on two major topics for this video. One is uh, give it your all, right? Even as coaches, as kids, um, we got to give it our all because uh, that, you know, that's what's expected. If we give it our all, then we will never have to regret anything, anything. because we're putting it out all on the table. Exactly. Hit the head right on the nail, right on the head. Okay. Um, other than giving it our all, I want to talk about making connections with the kids. Um, I want to re remind you guys that you do an excellent job of it, man. You're out there vocal with the kids. That by the end of the season, you're probably going to be one of their most favorite coaches. But yeah, I want to remind you and, and all the coaches and whatnot that are looking at this film. Really, man, this is more about making connections with the kids, sure, making sure. connections with the families. Um, you know, that's why I'm out here, because I love meeting all these people and having fun with these people. Meeting the coaches, this is a ball. Uh, so you guys remember to do that with the kids. You know, break them out of their shells. And, and you know, and I'm going to get back up to my man Will B on my van and video. He, he said it, and, and you know, certain, you know, phrases are so true. You know, you can stain a kid with, with um, a, a wonderful thing for life. He'll remember you forever. You'll make an impact on this kid just by being that coach that he looked up to. So you, you guys, get hats off to you guys. You guys are doing an excellent job. I appreciate it, bro. All right. All right. Down the right again. Down the right. Introduce yourself for the Fairfield Falcons family. How you doing, y'all? I'm Coach Turner. Okay, so what, what were you over there doing? Oh, uh, man, getting beat up by these youngsters, man. You know, these these AU Falcons, man, chasing this championship. Gotta work them. 
Oh, real, real talk. Hey, uh, but they look like they're working you, dog. You, you, you swing. Hey, it's good exercise, huh? Oh, man. I feel it. I feel it. Hey, but real talk, it's, it's good. It's, it, it, the energy that the kids give off, man. Like I said, I, I could tell you was having a, a ball, so I had to come over here and say the same. Oh, yeah, man. I appreciate it, man. It's all love. Uh, all right. Right on. Right on for giving it all for the kids. Yes, sir. Right. There's a lot of friendly faces out here. I'm loving it. Yeah. How y'all doing? Good. 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 How, how, how's it feeling out here? What? You know, well, fresh start, new beginning, football season. You know, we out here working. We ready. We oh, ready. yeah. We ready to put the demo down. Yeah. Let's see how far we can go, man. So, so you, uh, you got a good group of kids this year? Definitely. Definitely got a good group of kids. Got a good group of coaches. Got a good group of organizations, period. Yeah. So, you know, you ever think about coming to the Bible? But, yeah. Hey. Group, man, we out here to teach, trying to get these kids to go to high school, get you ready for high school, and, you know, just make sure they get ready to and understand the game of football. Hey. I see the enthusiasm, um, and I love it, uh, giving it the time for the kids. I see a lot of friendly faces. How you doing over there? That's all good. Hey. New team. New hey, team. Hey, real talk. I mean, and, and it's love in the community no matter where we go, um, but sometimes changes are warranted. You know what I mean? We all need changes. So, uh, real talk. Hey. I, I appreciate you guys having me out as well. Uh, I like to see what you guys are doing, and good luck this season, guys. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. All right. What's up, Coach? How you doing? Hey, how's it going? If you're looking at the 14 and 12, you out here getting ready. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. So, introduce yourself for the Fairfield Falcon family. Uh, I'm Coach Henry Washington with the 12U. Okay. And, uh, what, so, what we got going on today? Uh, we're working on a lot of linemen stuff right now. Uh, firing off the ball, not jumping off sides. It's just being tough right now. Okay, so this is week one? Yep, we're, second day of practice. Okay, so we're doing any kind of uh, conditioning. Is, are you guys emphasizing on conditioning or is it just practice? Yeah, probably the first third of practice, all conditioning. Then we're splitting up to agility, then to separate by position agility, then back to conditioning to finish up strong. What are you going to ask from the kids physically to get you where you need to be in championship status? We want them to get conditioned so well so that, you know, fourth quarter comes, they're mentally and physically strong. You know what I mean? They got to be ready to run those plays still and stay, stay uh, sharp. And how, how important is that physical conditioning? Man, it's important because I don't want to see him dragging out there. I want to see the other team dragging. I want to keep pounding, line up on the ball, ready to go. Okay. Um, coach, one, one thing I always like to remind everybody is that, you know, it's a, it's a lovely thing. We waited a long time to be out here on this field with these kids. Um, you know, football only comes once a year. Uh, but we're out here uh, not only for the sport of football, but we're also out here to make connections with the kids, make connections with the parents. So uh, remember that when you're out there with the kids, you're out there making some connections with these kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're mentors too, we're not just coaches, you know, we, we're always talking about not, not just physical stuff and practice, but nutrition, uh, drinking lots of water, and getting that schoolwork done too. Exactly, uh, and you hit it on the head, and that's what it's all about, uh, you know, just kind of being there for these kids, and showing them uh, exactly how we do things, um, and, and, and growth, you know, just growth in general for everybody, you know, coaches, parents, kids, all, and, and connecting with each other, I, I think that's a lovely thing. Yep, it's a beautiful so, thing. So thank you, Coach. Uh, yep, appreciate remember it. Remember that. And, and like I said, you guys are doing an awesome thing over here with the thank Fairfield you. Falcons. That's why I had to come over here. So. Thank you, yeah. Right on. All right. Hey, that was good. Stay low, stay low. Hold the ball tight. Let me see, hold the ball tight. Go, hurry up, hurry up. Get up. Get up.
What's up, Coach? How's it going? Uh, how you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. I, I always see you online uh, doing your thing with the kids. You're very active with the youth. So, so uh, what's your position this year? Uh, I'm the head coach of the 10 U uh, Fairfield Falcon football team. Okay, introduce yourself for the uh, Fairfield Falcon family. Uh, I'm DeAndre, head coach of the Falcons and AD over here at the Fairfield Falcons. Uh, defending North Carolina champs, AU team, we went up with them to 10 U, so trying to defend that thing this year. So you got some expectations to hold up. Yeah, we got a lot of new additions and trying to get 10 U is bigger, so we got to get more, more weight, more size, and move up with the guys. So You, you guys are unweighted over here? Or what? Yeah, it's unlimited. Scoop Dog League, that's why I feel so all the levels is unlimited. So it's like 6U, 8U, 10U, 11U, 12, and 14, all in with it, all so, in with it. So you got the master plan formulated on, on how to get your team ready? Nah, I'm trying to find one, though. Uh, okay, <laughs> I mean, but you got to have a system. I know you got oh, a yeah. system in plan. Yeah. Uh, and, and I know there's never a master plan, but I mean, you got to have the system. So uh, what what, you, what are you doing with these kids? I, I, I'm, I'm going to show the footage in the background, but uh, what do you get, how do you, you get these kids ready? So we got a lot of stuff we're doing. We're, going, we're just working out, trying to do basic, fundamental stuff, and football stuff at the same time. We got a big preseason team that's going on now. San Jose, August 11th, we're going to play the Wilmington Violets, the number three team in the state from LA. And then the next weekend, August 16th through the 19th, we're going to Seattle for a tournament before we start our regular season in September. So we got a lot of stuff that we're working on, trying to get September 22nd, we're going to Arizona. So that this year, last year we got to Nationals and we lost. We won NorCal, got to Nationals and lost. So this year we want to get them prepared with more out-of-state games, more games. So when we get there this year, we can change that up. Hey, that sounds like nothing but excitement to me. <laughs> yeah, you're about to have some fun this year. Yeah. Hey, is there anything you can ask from the parents this year? Ask for the parents just support, fan support. Even if, even if you're just in Fairfield, just come out, support the games on Saturdays, all the youth of Fairfield, you know. We're working with Fairfield High too. Fairfield High comes out to our practices, our, their coaches are really involved with the youth program out here. So just come to the stadium, support Fairfield. We're trying to build a good program and get it in. So this is um, every Saturday at the Fairfield High School? Every Saturday at Fairfield High School Stadium, football stadium. And, and the whole community is welcome? The whole community is welcome. Come out and just support. Good food, good environment, good football. It's a good league. Snoop Dogg might be there. Come get an autograph. All right, that's what it's all about. Hey, Coach, I love to see what you guys are doing with the kids. Keep up the good work. Thank you. All right. I'm in cheer territory now. They got a lot of cheer out here, though. Y'all doing y'all thing. So I'm here with one of the cheer moms. How you doing? Introduce yourself for the Fairfield Falcon family. Hi, I'm Tisha Smith. I'm a team mom for the senior clinic for the Fairfield Falcons. This is my second year here and I love it. So what, what would you say is the benefits of the, for the young ladies to be on the cheer program? Support, a lot of support. Parent support, the city supports us. And I'm, I might even from Fairfield and I come all the way out here just for this. And it's a lot of fun, you know? Yes, it's a lot of fun. I love it. Yeah, a, a, a common thing that we've been talking about with all the uh, football coaches is connecting, connecting with the kids, connecting yes. with the parents. That's so important. Uh, it is, you know, and, and I know as women in general, these girls will probably be connected for the rest of their lives. Yes. So my sister, she's going to TSU this year, oh. but she still comes out and she supports. Okay. She helps out with... <laughs> oh, we're, we're unscripted. Okay. We're, it's a family environment, so she's yes. getting distracted, but it's okay. Very much so. I'm so yeah. sorry, guys. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. But yes, my sister, she comes out and she supports and help out. and It's, it's nice. I love it. It is. What, what could you tell to the girls that may be watching this video? They're sitting on the couch and they would like to be involved with this. Um, how, how could they be a, a part of it? They can come on out and check the girls out if they like it. 
join Happy Parents Sign You Up, Fairfield Falcons, and just come out and support. Have fun. All right. Thank you. Um, and once again, uh, good luck. And I know you guys got a lot of girls, so yes, good luck at nationals. Thank you. I know it's a big thing to go to nationals, so good it luck. It is. Okay. <laughs> thank right. you. Thank you. Hey, everybody, and I'm going to wrap it up here. I want to thank everybody that stayed tuned in for so long. I've got to thank the Fairfield Falcons for having me out. You guys have an awesome program. It's on the growth up and up, you know, so I got to give you guys props. You're doing an awesome job with the kids. Keep up the good work. If there's anything that you guys may need from me, media man, just holler out. I'm here for you guys. Also, um, all the parents, all the players, all the coaches that participated in the video. Thanks a lot, guys, because this is what it's all about, about community, about sticking together and about making connections. So you guys, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for participating. This is Media Man and I'm out.